So for our first step, uh, we are starting from a Corax White spray base, and I'm going to to just apply Apothecary White contrast all over. What I like to do is work in panels and also work the brush in the direction that I want the shadows to be. Like that. So as I want the shadows in the darker, in the lower parts of the of the leg, I move the brush from up and from up to down, like so. So more contrast paint gathers in the lower parts. Keep doing this all over the model. So our our, our apothecary white is now completely dry. And if you made some mistakes, uh, or, or, or the or the contrast paint has pulled too much where you don't want it, for example, on the top of his head here, I really don't like that much paint there. It looks really bad. Also, a bit on his, off on his arm here, I really don't like that either. I like it down there. Down there is not is really nice, but up there I didn't saw that also didn't solve this one. If you want to fix it, it's really easy. What I do is take a heavy glaze of full full and grey. What I mean by a heavy glaze is super thin. I'm pulling the paint where I want it to be. So upwards in this case, our corrections with full and gray are done, and you can see there is a substantial difference there. And now I'm going to add a bit more shading to the model because, uh, ironically, I think apothecary white looks uh, lacks a bit of contrast. I'm going to do a a simple panel lining using grief charger gray, and apply this into all the recesses and panel lines for the armor. It flows really well, it's a really nice paint this and has a slight blue tone that matches really well with the white. So as you can see I have all the all the panel lining done. So now I'm going to highlight the armor and from that I'm using a straight white. You know I'm using white ink. This is from Dalla Rowney. It's the most amazing white you will ever use. You can already see how nicely it flows off the brush. No effort at all. Flows super nice. I'm just going to edge highlight on the armor. So, on top of, of the edge highlighting, I'm going to do a glaze of white and apply a highlight over the on all the rounded parts on the top. I'm moving my brush and trying to give enough paint there. And I clean quickly clean my brush and feather in the highlights, like so. I will after that add another layer, creating a small dot of white. 